as the season continues to drag on, we're dealing with more and more uh, down corn. Now the job is to get it picked up before we get into other issues such as the molds. A lot of this corn is going to need some help. Rigs like this to help feed it up over the uh, over the snoots and into that auger so we get uniform feed. A lot of guys are running this combination with the augers on the end to help pull the outside back in. These are worth their weight in gold right now as we deal with all this down corn and keeping the flow into that combine. A couple other things that we can think about too is uh, helping us out here at the gathering change. A couple tricks we've learned at working with down corn over the years. Of course, down corn, the feed into the head gets a little bit tougher. You can't do a lot with your stripper plates, get them as close as you can, but you're going to have a lot tougher time feeding the down corn in. One of the things that you can do that helps with down corn is to uh, time your gathering chain so the lugs are across from each other. We keep them staggered like this for high efficiency, but when you're in down corn and running slow, if you keep the lugs across from each other, they'll help move the product through. Don't be too aggressive with your ear savers. You may even have to take your ear savers off if they're really stiff to keep this corn flowing up through here. Then you still got to match the speed of the head with the combine. But in this case, instead of being exactly timed, you want your gathering chains just pulling a little faster than your forward speed. So you're pulling that grain towards the combine head. The other last thing that you can do is tip the deck plates down a little bit. So tip your head just a little bit so the front end of this deck plate is lower than it is normally running. That'll help grab that corn closer to the ground and bring it up. 